Hello everyone, I welcome you again to my channel Pharma Guide. In this video, we will study about the single punch tablet machines or the single station acentric tablet press. If you are watching my videos for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and if you like content of my video, please don't forget to like it and share it. Okay, now the tablet compression machines. There are various types of tablet compression machines as single punch machine, multi punch machine, rotary tablet machine, high speed rotary tablet machine and multi layer rotary tablet machines. Okay, in this uh, video we will study the single punch tablet machines or the single station or the eccentric press. It is the simplest machine for the manufacturing of the tablets. Single station press comprises of the single tooling station. Okay, there is only single tooling station that is one upper punch, lower punch and the one die only. Okay, that is the die and the pair of the lower punch and the upper punch. There is only a single tooling station. In this single press, the compression force is exerted only by the upper punch. This is important that in the single punch machine, the compression force is exerted only by the upper punch while the lower punch is immovable. The weight of the tablet can be controlled by the powder or the granule volume filled into the die. Since the inner diameter of the die is given and the volume of the uh, chamber inside the die is determined by the filling height. Filling height, we will maintain the height of the lower punch. Okay, so by maintaining the height of the lower punch, we can determine the volume of the die. This volume can be set by adjusting the lowest dead point of the lower punch. Okay, so height of the lower punch will decide the die fill. Now the tablet single punch machine are designed with the following basic components. First is the hopper. It is used to hold the material drug and the excipients or the material which is to be compressed and supply this material to the die. Next are the dies. Dies are def dies they define the shape and the size of the tablet by allowing the lower and the upper punch to come close together to compress the material. This upper punch and the lower punch they move within the die to form the tablet. Then the lower punch and upper punch these are used for compressing the material within the die. Cam tracks is important. This is the component which is used for guiding the movement of the punches. So the movement of the punches is guided by the cam tracks. Capacity regulator to adjust the position of the lower punch to accommodate the required quantity of the material by the die. Okay. So if at every time we will fill equal amount of material in the die, same way tablet will be formed. So to adjust that what amount of granulation is to be fed into the die, this uh, height of the lower punch is accommodated. So this is the capacity regulator to adjust the position of the lower punch to accommodate the required quantity of the material by the die. Ejection regulator to adjust the position of the lower punch so that at the highest point is at the par of the surface uh, with the surface of the die. Ejection regulator will regulate the motion of the lower punch till the highest position is at the par with the surface of the die. Then the driving wheel it helps the movement of the lower punch and the upper punch and hopper shoe and also checks their movement. Okay, in picturization way you can understand what is the uh, direction of movement of the tools and what is the operation cycle of the single punch machine. Okay, so this is the hopper, this is the feed cup, feed cup fills the die, this is the die, lower punch is adjusted at the height, this is the upper punch. In second step what happened, this feed cup will remove the excess amount of material from the surface of the die and move away to ensure the free movement of the upper punch. This is the direction of the motion of the upper punch. Then step three is upper punch compresses the particle aggregates inside the die. This is the compression will take place. At step four, upper punch return to the initial dead point. Okay, it will return to the initial upper dead point position. Then this hopper the lower punch ejects the tablet from the die. This lower punch will move up. Okay. The lower punch ejects the tablet from the die reaching the upper dead point position. And at last, the lower punch returns to the dead point position and the feed cup fills the die. This feed cup is doing two functions. This is ejecting the tablet also. The feed cup rolls off the tablet and it is also filling the die cavity. So you can see in this single punch machine, this hopper is filling the die cavity also and it is 
this is uh, this rolls off or eject the tablet also so this is the operation cycle of the uh, this eccentric tablet press now what are the advantages of this uh, single punch tableting machine the machine structure is rational small and very easy to operate operates at high utilization ratio it is hand operated used in the lab and the batch production machine provides the instant control over the loading of the raw material and the thickness of the tablet control over the uh, loading of the raw material and thickness of the tablet okay guys thank you for your time and attention if you like content of my videos please like them and share them and subscribe to my channel pharma guide